morning. Here's what we got. We got eggs, we got bacon, we got fish oil, we got coffee. I got some coffee tips. Hang on. Okay, here's a little coffee knowledge drop. So on the flatbed challenge video that I did, a lot of people were sending in their flatbeds to Instagram. And some of the professionals out there commented on how coarse a lot of these grinds looked, like how chunky all these beds were. Like, you need to tighten up the grind, you need to do this, that, and other. And the weird thing is, it's the, the grind on a lot of these things is not really as tight as you'd think. So if we're looking at this, it looks just like all these chunky rock, like big, huge pebble size things. But really what we have is something a little bit deeper. Really what we have is some finds migration. So let's dig into this thing a little bit. Oh, can you see it? So underneath that, we've got particles that are much, much, much smaller. Now, this still isn't a good thing, but it's just not what you think it is. Really what's going on is the grinder is producing particles of vastly varying sizes. This is a sign that you need to replace your grinder burrs. My burrs on my Encore are so, so, so old. They're years old. I needed to replace them a long time ago. But I just started seeing a lot more of this discrepancy in particle size recently, and it's been affecting the quality of the coffee. Still okay, but it could be a lot better. But this is a mistake I see a lot of people making is just seeing those chunky chunks on the top and assuming that the grind is too coarse, when in reality, what needs to happen is the burrs probably need to be replaced. I've made this mistake at my relatives' houses sometimes where I go over for like a holiday dinner and they're making coffee and I see the grounds and it looks all like that. I'm like, I'm gonna fix it, I'm gonna fix it. Hang on, let me handle this. Let me handle this shit real quick. And I tighten up the grind, make the particle size look where I think it needs to be and then I brew the coffee and it's way too strong and it's too nasty because there's also more of those fine particles that are extracting at a much, much, much more aggressive rate. You know, think about a bag of trail mix. You got a bag of trail mix, right? You're eating the stuff and then when you get to the bottom, it's all the little fine powdery, there's nothing to grab onto, you know? You get all that, all that stuff sinks to the bottom. Same thing's happening while you're brewing coffee. So that's why you can see that discrepancy more after it. There's other stuff in there, it's just hiding. Pro tip, this huge particle size spread can also make it really hard to dial in. You might be following the recipe exactly, you might be doing the technique perfectly, and you still can't adjust the grind to give you what you think tastes perfect because your burrs may be blown out. So if you start seeing some of these things or all of a sudden can't dial in coffee how you used to, check the burr set, you might need a replacement. We're back. Oh boy, are we back. Who are we talking here to, huh? I've got dry lip. Did you know that you always wake up dehydrated so you should have some salt, lemon, and water together? We listened to the Tiger Belly, got some funny stuff. Listened to a couple of them on the way home from Los Angeles with Todd. Todd drove home with us. Son of a bitch. Is he there? He's right there. He's right there. We lost Chuck, but he's actually right there. Not he, texting us. He's only two hours late for our meeting. <laughs> should we get him? What are we gonna do with him? I mean, if we're gonna talk about the offsite. All right, sure, man. <laughs> JT's gonna whip it. I'm gonna whip it. Woo! Today is thir it's Thursday. Yep, still. It's Thursday still. Since this morning. Jared and I are gonna go plan for our upcoming. Oh my god. We're gonna go plan for our offsite, which is coming up next week. Hey, oh my you. god, you're so cute. You know my stuff? Are you cross eyed a little? No. Excuse <laughs> me. A little bit. Hasn't learned to talk Maybe yet. It's a little huh? slower than the other one. I don't care. <laughs> Five years old? A little slow. Okay. <laughs> Press the button and take the park. Please take the parking ticket. Thank you. Does it look smooth with the boot? Probably Up fairly. the stairs. Here it's we go. Like you have to hold with power, but also jelly. Is that us? Boom. When you drink it fast, woo! Jared, talk about your flavor now. What do you got? Chocolate. Chewy, that's, chocolate, that's crunchy. Chocolate. Oh, thank you. After you, sir. Oh, wow. We're getting a secret tour of our new neighbors downtown at Abbott Square, Rocha Hammock Cafe. This amazing place. It's fing nuts in here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Copper pipes, it's fused together with tar. You get it from waterfalls, you get it from waves, you get yeah. it from sun charged oxygen. It's very natural. That's sure. why outdoorsy people love the outdoors. Right. It does not block EMS. No, no it, it just helps fact. you feel better with because yeah. of them, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah. what are you guys actually talking about right now? Black tourmaline, how it like emits negative ions. It's in here, everywhere. That's what. That's yeah, part it's, of it. it's in the ground. Every square yeah. foot, it's it's uh, we sprinkled it into the ground. So as you walk around, the temperature in here changes. It's emit emitting negative ions. Chris. Chris. He's planning. Giving editing advice on your audio earlier, and I was like. Take it down, bro. Today was pretty much the perfect day because not in this room at all, outside with different kinds of people, different kinds of places, different kinds, a lot of different kinds of energy. Got to do, got to do video. Uh, we're doing, fuck. I need a tripod. There are currently two projects going on at work that involve video. This is amazing. It's something that I've wanted to bring into business for a long time. One of them involves Alex and kind of logging. A lot of the things that we do that make our organization special, just capturing those, there's these little magical moments happening all the time. And most people never really get to peek behind the curtain and see, see, what am I trying to say? I think some of the most amazing stuff that happens in our business happens behind the scene and it happens with the employees that work for us going through the, some of the things that we're going through, the struggles of working for a small, relatively new business, kind of building the castle as you're living in it at the same time. And that's something that not a lot of people want to share, but we're about to share a lot of it. It's gonna be really exposing, it's gonna be really fun, so stay tuned, I'll, I'll give an update on that later. It's not quite ready to go yet, but we'll have a whole thing. The second video project involves Ian, who I work with, and he is editing the news. So every week in Basecamp, we make a news video, and the video is the most relevant information that's going on in the cat and cloud galaxy. It's like it's like your one-stop shop for what is cracking at cat and cloud. This allows us to create synergy across all departments, share wins from departments to departments, and make sure everyone's on the same page. I logged into Basecamp, and there's mother 57 people in there, 57. Our first orientation was eight people. Pretty much every time I go into one of our cafes, I'm meeting new people. It's pretty bananas, it's blowing my mind. So the news is a common point of connection. <laughs> oh God. <coughs> it's something that very few cafes get to do. Cut to Tanner, right? No. Chris has got the camera on us and now I feel like I'm ready. Now I feel like myself. Yeah. No response from Chuck at all. Maybe he's dead. Today is David's birthday. David is my friend who you saw in the video when we picked up the 8.6 from Canada. He's the one who helped me bring it back, helped me arrange for the whole situation. Really, I wouldn't have the car without him. It's his birthday, so we're gonna go surprise him at his house. He doesn't know we're coming. Hey. And then there's also... So, so... Stack, yeah. It's like oh, those? Oh yeah, they're super small. Yeah. Huh? It's like the hardest battery to find in the U.S. No, oh, it's pretty good. It looks good. Let me go for the key in there. We're good. The lip is perfect. 